We are back with another mail time. It's been a while, but we've got some pretty cool pieces in this one. So let's check it out. First and foremost, if you're watching my mail time series, you're probably a big fan of the channel. So thank you so much for that. And I do want to apologize for the lack of videos. April is tax season, which is terrible on all counts, but I have been kind of reorganizing as well. You can see the organized bins, which is so starting off with everyone's favorite, not to tease you too much, the first item I showed in the beginning of the video, this is the Cap Tool Armor Panda. And I mean, just look at that. If you don't know what it is, it is a knuck. You stick your two fingers in here. I would never use it in this sort of format. As you can tell, it does have a little lanyard on it, which means you can attach onto your keychain. And it does have a bottle open on the bottom. These act as hex bit holders. So it is a tool, but also, it just looks freaking cool. And if you pull this out, sure, it can do some damage, but it also just looks like a cute, armored, wicked panda. And I freaking love it. Next up, we have some new earphones from Tribit, the Flybud C1. A huge shout out to them for sponsoring this episode. We're gonna go through the unboxing of this guy. All right, popping this open. Instructions, charging case, earbuds themselves, extra ear tips, which is always nice. And then just a charging cable USB-C. Design-wise, it's got this glossy side on one end. Again, that red accent for that speaker grill-like look. The other side is a soft matte feel. The case itself is also really nice. It's got minimal branding just on the top here, and that's black on black, my favorite. But it's also got this soft matte touch that just feels good to hold in the hand. When in use, they don't actually stick out that much. So it's very minimal on the head. It doesn't look like you have any antenna sticking out of you. And the best part, even with my larger right ear hole, it stays in place. The single button action is super easy to use and it is very clicky. And this is an audio test of my voice speaking into the four mics on the C1. Yeah. They sound pretty decent. Finally, my favorite, IPX5, which isn't super water resistant, but if you're a sweater like I am, these will handle it just fine. Once you're done and you pop it into the case, it snaps in magnetically. Plus when fully charged, the case carries 38 hours of additional playback. On top of the 12 hours of playback you already get on the earphones, that's 50 hours in total right here. That's like two weeks of usage without charging the case at all. Thanks to the USB-C, you can charge this for 10 minutes and get one and a half hours of playback. So you never have to rage about your earphones running out of batteries. The best part is you don't have to break the bank for this either. For earbuds that offer 12 hours of playback, that's hard to find in this price range. So if you're interested, any details, codes, and links are in the description down below. Next up though, this one was actually sent to me from Brian at PNW Toast. This again is also a knock. This is a thick boy, you can compare it to my finger, but he squishes, I believe this is wood. Nice thick bead, but yes, also a knock, fit your finger through there, but great for a keychain as well. You, you gotta get these like small creators who have an idea and just put it out there and these things are a beauty. I featured Fissure House before and they have some new gear that they sent me again in the armored cases. Taking a look, bam, look at these beauties. This one is really cool. I had their previous colorway. It's supposed to mimic a chocolate bar right down to the unboxing experience because they gold foil wrapped the actual fidget toy, which is <laughs> just crazy. Peeling it open. Wow. It's got some texture on the top. This is just pure metal logo at the bottom. And this looks like a chocolate bar, but it is a slider. You can slide up and down and you can even go sideways as well. Also some cool details is they always number their items. I have number two of a hundred. It's a thick boy too, but nice in the hand because I'm a huge fan of these rectangle ones. It just feels like you're holding like a lighter or a card and you can just play around with it in the hand. Really fun. They also have this, which is the BM pendant, hammer pendant, I believe. And it's a bead that you can throw on your knife or your fidget toy or anything else. But this one, spins. So this in itself is a fidget toy. Uh, I like it a lot because it's so small and it goes on something that you're already going to carry. So you're not carrying something extra and just this is an interesting one I picked up from Amazon. So readily available for everyone. It is a fidget toy. I think it's called the Moby Slate. And as you can see, it just looks like a jumbled pile of rings, but it, it is all in like a pattern and you're supposed to just 
rub it around on your finger and you can spin each ring individually. It's definitely an interesting experience. It's like holding a bundle of rope, like hard rope. The metal is kind of, it's got a soft touch to it. So it feels nice. It doesn't feel all metallic or anything. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I It's definitely not for me. I could see why some people like it because it does keep your fingers busy on trying to maybe find a ring and then just spinning each one. You kind of just rub it around in your hand, even just squishing it in your hand. Although it's metallic, uh, it, it's like you get that squishy feeling. I bought this a while ago and I've seen a lot of them online, a lot of duplicates and clones. I tried to nail down who the original creator was. So I hope this is it. These are called Fin Gears. I got it from the official website. So there are three plastic rings that you can fit onto your finger. It doesn't recommend you to go past your knuck because they're metallic, that makes it easy to play with. You can kind of spin it around like that here like that. If you have more than one, you can actually play a game of hockey or like cur curling and see if you can connect them. It has that like playability to it. It has that fidget factor to it. So I have the large, so I wanted to make sure it fit my finger, uh, but also available in several different colors. I have the blue and black, so check them out. This one is from Compoform. I ordered a few pieces from them previously, but they are based in Russia. So getting them does take a little bit here in Canada. It's the size of about a half dollar, but you can slide it one way, snaps back in place, slide it the other way. And you can see on the inside, it's just a grid. Also has a clicking factor and it has a little nub on the bottom. It's also a spinner on the table. Compo form, this is the Gravitis Spa Sapa. Um, not sure if it's available anymore, it might be out of stock. One of my favorite companies, Lautie, I believe that's how it's pronounced. This is a new one that just got delivered. In the olden days, they used Morse code, which is based on this. You can have short click or a long click and pause. On the top, it even tells you how to, to say Lautie. It's also got a lanyard hole at the top. This whole thing is Pretty hefty. So these uh, from Lautier, they are limited to their Facebook group. So you have to join them, wait for a drop, and then sign up for the drop to get a chance to buy it or buy it secondhand, which the community there is amazing. So check them out, join the Facebook group if you're interested in any of these fidget gear, especially from Lautier. Yeah. All right, a little less fidgety, but this one is a knife from Fidget Things. But this guy is a magnetic utility knife holder. You can see it snaps in place. He actually has a custom engraved blade in there for me. He also made a Supreme one, which is really fun. But how this works is flip this part open and it reveals the blade. And you got a handle like this, cut, cut, cut. And then when you're done, it just flip and snaps back. You won't get cut when it's all docked in. And the magnets are pretty strong that it won't flip out on its own. Gotta be blacked out, obviously. But if you're looking for a really small, like really small utility knife holder, fidget things, this one is worth checking out. So Shire Minpost is one of my favorite coin creators and he recently released this. It's a pizza coin. So I had to cop the whole collection. This one is their burnt style pizza. So it's a blacked out coin, skulls and stuff for toppings. It's got a crust on the end here. You can feel the texture. If you are a collector of coins and love pizza, this is a no brainer. Check them out there. This is the blacked out version, copper version, different finish. What's even cooler is his packaging. So he includes this little box here, which is basically a pizza box so you can store your coins. So let's build one of these out <laughs> and then put the pizza in and store it away. That's freaking awesome. And it says pizza coin. What's even cooler and tops it all off. This one is actually cut up. What you can do, bend this and it'll actually break into eight pieces of a pizza. Something like this, which is super rad and weird and interesting and something you'd never find anywhere else. So that's why I love Shire Mint Post. It's really in the small details and he sent this little extra one. It says it's the unplug challenge. And on the other side, Unplug for eight hours. It encourages you to stop using your phone, your devices, maybe after uh, you watch this video. This next one is the capsule from Craig Hill. It's I actually got it from a fellow Instagram EDC curator. They're amazing, Urban Cred. Check them out, I'll link them below with this uh, listing. But taking a look, it's just this little guy. 
It's this pill shaped, uh, about half a finger long. You've seen these before. They're like stash containers. You can put pills and cash and whatever other small other things are in it. It's a screw on lid with, this one's got a huge D ring at the top basically. Craig Hill made this blacked out version, curved bottom, really smooth in the hand. It just feels like a nice little container made of metal and uh, Urban Cred had one of these. I commented on his post and I uh, sent one over. He's one of my inspirations of where I find cool things. So if you're interested in why you're here to find cool things, check him out as well. So I featured Clever Widgets in a previous episode and he saw it and decided to send me a few other designs to check out. So I mean, this is why I bought it in the first place. His designs are wild and interesting and something I've never seen before. They are all 3D printed, so metal hardware, and just look at that. Like, I don't even know how to use this, but utility blade that's screwed in so it's secure there. This one here has a locking mechanism, so push that in, won't come loose. This one's a little bigger using your thumb. I'm gonna assume it's like that and you can cut your boxes. It's even got a belt clip on the back. And that's why I love Etsy, because you get these creators who are making these really interesting, different products that you wouldn't find on the mass market or on Amazon and stuff like that. I will try and find a use for these. Oops. Next up, you guys may know these guys. If you're into EDC, Rovivon, they make cool flashlights, but they also make this cool carabiner. Check out the carabiner first. So this is a metallic carabiner. Got a ruler on one end, a regular kind of clips in. You can lock it in the bottom there, but it's also got a blade built into it. So it's got a little scalpel blade. So these things are sharp. So nice to have just in case you want to open a box on the go and you have it on your keys. It doesn't get in the way. Very flat and built into the carabiner. Like it looks cool too. If you're into that like futuristic vibe as well. Then we have their keychain flashlight. This is the Aurora A3X in gunmetal. These guys are tiny. Look at this small as half my finger. They have that kind of rubberized button there. I click and hold turns on their max turbo mode and do different modes here as well for a regular metal build, lanyard at the top. They're nice to have just in case. Build tough and they charge by USB, micro USB there. So you don't have to worry about changing a battery or anything. Turbo. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's breeze through a few more before it gets too long. This is the Min Inch Tool Pen. So if you were ever a kid and had those erasers that when you finished using the first one, you could take it out and pop in the bottom and a new eraser would come out. That is essentially what this is. Each eraser in this case is a different bit. In the center there, you can actually see which ones you have inside. You can swap them out for the ones included here. So choose the ones you wanna carry with you, this cap, snaps right on, it's a metal body. So it's a tough guy. It's about the size of an actual pen. You can just take a pen slot in your bag or even fits in your pocket. These are some wallets that were sent over a while ago. These are the Z Nap, Z Snap, or the Snap, but with the Z. This is the carbon fiber model. In the back here is this metal casing that holds a bunch of cards. It's got an RFID shield card, so you can put this in the front and it'll block any scanning from the outside if you don't want it to. And on the inside, it's got a little groove so you can store a key, a coin, an SD card, anything kind of flat, which will then be covered up. And that can be taken out if you don't like it. To store more cards. Everything snaps really nicely in place. No cards fall out. On the other side of this like carbon fiber thing, it's got a snap button, unlock it and holds cash, could probably fit some cards as well, and it just snaps in so it doesn't fall out. If I had another carbon fiber episode, this would be perfect because it does offer quite a bit of utility, especially that backside there. All right, on to our favorite bit, masks. To start things off, not a mask, but a mask accessory. Uh, for anyone that has a mask like just these regular disposable ones, and they don't fit on the edges or the bottom, these things, it creates like a nose bridge for you, so it seals that top part. And what it does is, because my mouth is here, this is now creating its own seal against my face once you tighten it in. And on the top here, you see that wavy, it basically goes along the curb of your nose and your eyes. If you wear glasses, it's meant to prevent any fogging on your glasses as well. And you can see, still talk semi-regularly. And the benefit is, these are silicone, so it's easy to wash, but also it fits on any mask that you have that may not fit too perfectly and you wanna ensure that tight seal. Next up, this one, uh, they reached out on Instagram and they said, check out our mask, stat mask. Uh, I said yes, 
because I'm always down to check out new masks and because they have a variety of really cool colors. These bags, yes, are reusable as well. And so are the masks. They come in a few different colors, which is really cool for me. Obviously the black is my go-to. If you want to store it away, it's pretty small, but folds out fairly large. Ear loops do have that little adjuster thing fit around your face. Trying one on, covers around your chin really nicely. First thing I noticed, very soft, like this material. No gaps on the side, no gaps on the bottom, nose bridge. It doesn't stick towards my mouth because it does sort of create like a flat area there. Easy to breathe, easy to talk. You can hear me really nicely and looks pretty cool. Like let's try on some rad colors. These are really nice, they're comfy. And uh, yes, they are reusable, so you can wash them and uh, use them again. Check them out if you're looking for like a simple, like I've never seen these colors in other masks, so very cool if you're looking for a more stylish option. Stylish and comfortable option, actually. So Dispatch just released a collaboration with Annex, and they created a face mask together as well. This one is just this really big two-tone. It's got this like textured side and the softer side, some writing on the outside my favorite back strap for mass. No nose bridge, but it's so large, it kind of just engulfs my whole face. It does have a good seal, surprisingly. No gaps on the side or bottom. It goes fairly deep on the bottom, and right off the bat again, the inside, super soft. Because it's so large, when you talk, it doesn't move off your nose. It looks really cool. Like. I dig it. Comes with a matching green at the inside as well. If you want to add some extra level of protection, it does have a filter pocket. So this is from Dispatch, really cool. And they also sent over their hat. The one I've been wearing this whole time, it's kind of like a twill style hat and they do use the Fidlock on the back. Obviously, I like that it's like brandless and it's actually comfy and it fits your head. Last mask related one is from a company called G95. They make a range of interesting protective gear and I'm actually wearing one right now. This is their zip up hoodie. And the idea is, well, yes, it is a very comfy hoodie, but you can see here, you zip it all up. You can see how it goes to the side because there's a string here that goes all the way around. And now you have a mask on you at all times as long as you're wearing the sweater. And one thing I want to point out, they use the really nice zippers nice cuffs around the arms there. So no branding on the front, which is like my favorite. They do have it on the side, which is nice and subtle. I wish they sent me a black one, but can't complain. They have a range of other protective gear as well. The glasses, they're like safety goggles, except they have a seal around the whole sides there. So if you're really concerned, these just look cool. They also have a range of masks. So they have a black and white one, nice and soft, almost like a Jersey style material. Do have the uh, adjusting strap on the back as well. Doesn't fit as well. It sits too high on the chin. Just, it's just not my size. Comfort wise, feels good. Nice tight seal. And you do have the adjuster on the back for a tighter seal. Breathability is decent, not the best I've had. It does have a specific chin piece to it. So if you have a smaller face, this may fit you perfectly. This is the Gator style mask. See here, it's this rubber patch that says Bio Gator. Just this tube, like any regular Gator, but it has the adjusting strap here for the same idea. So then you can just leave it hanging around your neck when no one's around, but when it does, bam, tighten doesn't fall on its own. This is an option. They have the white one here. They also have a black. They've also got this, which is a really big scarf. So this is the Bile Scarf. Damn, this is soft. It's just this really long scarf that tie it around your face like any regular scarf. And because it's got a really nice edge there, it creates a nice seal, double layered as well. So get that extra protection and it's just nice and warm for scarf season. My all time favorite though, similar to this, is this it's a little different than the hoodie because it's basically a bio gator attached to a really nice sweater bam look at that i mean as a sweater already it's really comfy really sleek and nice water sealed zippers and you got that nice zipper as well so instead of just a hoodie pocket they have sealed pockets that go all the way through and of course oh we have a pocket here too that's cool so we have an arm pocket badge on the other side. They even got a strap on the bottom so it seals the, the bottom as well. So, but then the beauty of this or the purpose, I guess, is you have that built-in gator, the ability to seal the top. So it's a built-in mask. It is multi-layered on the inside, just like that. And then loose and pull down. And it doesn't look like out of place, really comfy. This is probably my favorite piece and something I definitely recommend you to check out. 
just like for a comfy hoodie if you wanted that. Moving on from mass, I have a few carry goods that I wanted to show off. This is from Garage Built Gear. They make pouches, bags, and they sent me a few here that I picked up from their website. This is like a little pouch. I'm a huge fan of these pouches, and I love that this one has this huge handle on it so you can attach a carabiner. Throw your AirPods, cards, coins, daily essentials in there. It's got a little loop on the bottom as well. This little guy, definitely gonna include in a video as well. They also have this that they sent over. It looks like it's in like it could fit a nintendo switch nice soft wool interior elastic loops you can fit games front here has two mesh pockets you can probably slip something in and then you get the velcro there you can add a patch customize it got that tough cordura large zipper pulls which i really like and just built really nicely the all black is definitely my favorite branding is on point nice and subtle it lets the product itself do all the talking so garage built gear check them out on Instagram, their website, link down below. But that's it for today. Let me know in the comments down below what things I should check out, any cool products you've seen and you think I should include into a future video. But um, that's it. I rest my mail time stuff. <laughs>